Okay, we're going to be using steel shot. <clears throat> or actually, it's shaped steel. To clean old bottles. You can see how dirty this one is. It's an old frosty root beer bottle. Found at a bottle dump. Broken top. Here's the bottom for reference. You can see the dirt in there. Now, shaped steel, I don't know if you can see that. They're BBs that look like little UFOs. They're different sizes. And what we'll start with is uh, <clears throat> probably some Barkeeper's Friend. Works on everything. Just don't use it on gold or silver, copper, that kind of stuff. About a tablespoon will do. So you got your barkeeper's friend in there. Now we'll add the steel shapes to the bottle. I do this over the sink in a bucket, so if I lose a shape, it doesn't go down to the uh, disposal. At this point, I don't add any water. I just start mixing it around. The shapes were already wet from a previous clean. Hot water. Just enough to get it liquefied. Remember, some bottles are just not going to get 100% clean because of the age and the type of glass and everything else. And depending on the glass, it's really thin glass, you risk breaking it with steel shapes. But you can use BBs, you can use coarse grain sand. I'm sure you can use small aquarium gravel or something. Something that's got a little bit of abrasiveness to it, but steel is round, so it's smooth. Get a little rough over here. Sorry about the music in the background. I think the wife is trying to be annoying. We'll go ahead and 
dump these out in the strainer. And that's the bottle. There's still a little bit of debris in there at the bottom. You can do that more than once. I usually start with barkeeper's friend and then go with dish soap. And then if necessary, I go to pipe cleaners or depending on the bottle, a bottle brush. Uh, you can obviously see that's not going to fit. Pipe cleaners doesn't get in there, but it depends on the skin of the bottle. Roll bottles, I don't want them to be too clean. I don't want them to look like new. This particular bottle, it's got some kind of nasty residue in there, so it's not going to clean up real well, and I didn't want to risk losing the rest of the label. So, that's as good as that one's going to get for now. And I'll show you some examples later.